These are the Blitzwolf BWFYE4 wireless headphones that were sent to me from Blitzwolf. Uh, you can buy them on banggood.com for just under $38 at the time of this review. You can find an affiliate link in the description below. So let's go through a quick unboxing to review and see if they are worth it. Uh, these earbuds use uh, Bluetooth uh, 5.0. Uh, they have a transmission, transmission range of 33 feet or 10 meters. Uh, should give you a play time of about four and a half hours. Uh, that's per earbud. Uh, and with a charge box should extend that to 20 hours of play time. Um, waterproofing is rated at IXB4. Um, and as usual with Blitzwolf products, uh, the packaging is excellent. Inside the box, you will find uh, a small user manual, the charge case with the earbuds inside, and also a smaller cardboard box with uh, different size uh, ear chips as well as a short micro USB charging cable. Uh, the charge case is uh, relatively small uh, compared to others that I have seen. Um, and I was really able to comfortably fit this into my pocket uh, on a day out and about. Opening the charge case, you have a button that lights up a few LEDs to show the battery charge level of the case. Uh, the earbuds themselves are held in place magnetically and they snap securely in place into the cavities for storage and recharging. Uh, the earbuds are fairly small and they are made from uh, plastic, but they are very well made. Uh, each earbud has a button on the top that will allow you to pair the phone you can also click either button uh, one, two, or if you press it once, it's to play and pause. Uh, twice is to skip to the next track and three times for the previous track. Pairing the earbuds to my iPhone was very easy. Uh, you just take the earbuds from the case and look for the BWFYE4 in your Bluetooth devices list on your phone. Uh, click connect and you're done. Uh, and even after putting them back in the case uh, and taking them out again, they automatically connected to my phone even before I could get the earbuds into my ears. Uh, the Bluetooth connection on the iPhone seems to be very good without any dropouts, dropouts or disconnecting. However, I noticed a few dropouts and disconnections when connecting these to my MacBook Pro. Uh, once it loses connection, with the laptop, I have to disconnect the Bluetooth and reconnect to restore the sound. Otherwise, it just keeps skipping the track. I use this, these mostly while sitting at my desk at work, and they have very good passive noise isolation in a noisy office environment. Sound overall seems to be relatively non-fatiguing. However, I do notice some sibilance in the S sounds. Treble seems to be towards a bright end and can sound slightly tinny at times. Bass is good, uh, but not overly accentuated or boomy, and could be a bit fuller. Uh, vocals are actually rather good, but for me the treble is just a bit on the bright side. I notice that complicated music tracks falls apart a bit, so very busy rock or other similar genres will sound a bit noisy and distorted at higher listening levels. Calmer and less complex tracks are well handled and very pleasant to listen to. I'm not saying these earbuds are unlistenable. Uh, at this price point, uh, these earbuds do sound good, and if you prefer slightly bright treble, I can certainly recommend these. These do have uh, built-in microphones, so take, taking phone calls on the go is possible, but I did hear a slight echo during, a, during phone calls. In conclusion, overall, these are good earbuds, and for the price, they're definitely worth the consideration. If you're a base head or prefer a well-balanced top end, uh, these are not for you. I hope this review was helpful to you in making an informed decision. Thanks again to Blitzwolf for sending these out uh, to me. 
If you would like to support my channel, please subscribe and ring that notification bell to be notified of my upcoming videos. Uh, thank you all for watching and until next time, adios.